It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to my review of the Hogue Black Overmolded Stock for the Remington 870. This particular model is designed for the 20 gauge Remington 870 and has a 12 inch length of pull, which makes it rather unique. I really like this Hogue stock with the 12 inch length of pull. Because I am a small statured guy, it makes this 20 gauge shotgun much more useful to me. I could shoot it with the standard length, almost 14 inch long stock. But uh, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it here. So if I go to shoot something directly in front of me, that's fine. When I'm squared up, I'm, I'm facing the target. But with the shotgun, if I then go to swing, okay, what happens there is the longer stock's out here and my hand that runs the pump uh, is, is too short. So I'd actually have to turn my body and that when I'm squared up to the target like you see right now, okay, boom, I can just shoot it and then I can shoot it, okay, and as long as I'm, as long as I'm pivoting my body, okay, and staying squared up against the target, I can run the pump with no problem, okay. I thought I'd just take a second here to clarify what I mean by pivoting and turning or twisting. Imagine with me that these are your feet, okay? And you're wanting to shoot in this direction. With the longer length of pull, I can still operate the shotgun easily because I'm squared up against the target and there's not a lot of problems. If I, t if I begin to shoot this way, that's easy because I extend out this way. I'm actually moving the, the gun this way closer to me and my, my hand, my left hand that's operating the pump now ergonomically gets longer because I'm not having to reach across my body, I'm now reaching out this way. Not a problem, I'm able to operate the pump just fine. Now, if my target is this way, I'm shooting for a straight, again, no problem. Now, I, if I wanna shoot over here, I can just pivot my whole body and just turn, and that's excellent. I, I'm not having a problem operating the pump then. But if I need to shoot off, let's say, to particularly to my right hand shoulder, so at 90 degrees from where my feet are pointed, so I need to shoot over this way, and I'm now going to twist my waist or turn, what happens is, as I do that, okay, I do like this, and now I'm having to reach across my body with my left hand that's operating that pump, and if I have a standard length of pull, a 13 and a half inch length of pull, all of a sudden I'm un unable to really operate that pump, and that's the point I'm trying to make. So I can pivot my whole body to shoot, but if I can't do that, let's say I'm sitting in a blind and I'm wanting to shoot ducks or other birds, or I'm just needing to twist and, 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 and manipulate my body from my waist, okay? I need to be able to operate the pump. I don't wanna just lean over here one shot and then have to come back or drop the gun down and come back around. So that's what I'm meaning by pivoting the whole body is just turning, that's not a problem, but twisting at the waist is where the problem is accentuated with too long of a stock. But, if I decide to swing far to the right, so if I swing far to the right here, I get to the point with, with even this stock, okay, imagine it being two inches longer. I'm literally, my hand is now riding on the receiver here and not on the pump. So shortening the length of pull allows me to actually run this gun effectively in terms of the pump. If instead of being able to pivot my body, I'm having to just swing and extend myself over. So I'm just gonna show you guys that a little bit here. Live fire. Okay, so in this uh, first demonstration, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing my body and I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna turn my whole body. I'm just gonna pivot my arms in. I want you to look at where my hand is on the stock. On my left hand is on the, the pump. So come up to shoot, perfect. Run it, now I'm just gonna twist at the waist and you can see here that my hand is still able to be on the grip. But if it was right there, I would be unable to run the pump. So I could shoot it from here and then I would have to bring the pump down to be able to pump it if I had the standard length of pull stock. So let's do that again more quickly here. Up, able to manipulate the gun appropriately. I like this stock, uh, this 12 inch length pull stock, because it makes this shotgun much more usable for me. As if I'm, I'm walking around, whether I'm using this in a defensive situation or for hunting, with the longer stock for me personally, what happened is, is the stock would be up here, and when I went to shoulder the gun, I couldn't just roll the stock up in the, the pocket of my shoulder like that. I literally had to drive it out and then in. Well, that, that's unnecessary action. The way this stock is now, I literally just roll it up in the pocket of my shoulder and been able to shoot. 
just roll it up in the pocket of my shoulder and I'm able to shoot. And that, that's a big deal for me. And I think most uh, average size guys, because I'm 5'4", most average size guys, six feet tall guys, need that like 13 and a half, 14 and a half inch length of pole, but I certainly don't. So here is a little close-up of this Hoag overmolded stock. You can see the little Hoag logo there on the bottom of the grip. Installation is super easy. Comes with all the components that you need to install this stock onto your shotgun, and it's a very simple and straightforward process. You can see that I have added some electrical tape here to the butt pad of my stock. The reason I did that was that this butt pad is quite squishy and there's quite a bit of friction and so I found depending on the clothing I was wearing sometimes there was quite a bit of friction bringing the stock up uh, to my shoulder so I just wrapped some electrical tape around it. If you're going to put electrical tape on your stock I would encourage you to use this brand of electrical tape, the Scotch 3M electrical tape. I find that whatever glue or adhesive they're using on this tape that when it gets heated up it does not leak out, it does not goo out, it does not become kind of goopy and sticky and kind of ooze out with some cheaper electrical tape. I've had that happen. So it's it's worth uh, the little additional cost, like six or seven dollars to get the higher quality electrical tape so that doesn't happen. It doesn't get black goo on your gear, your equipment, or your clothing. So it's worth the kind of attention to detail there and I'd encourage you to do that. I just want to just quickly show the honestly goodness difference here in the length of pull. You can see that that's pretty substantial there and uh, I've been quite happy with the change in the length of pull and I, I'm, I have talked quite a bit about that already in this review but there's an actual physical representation that you can see significant in terms of the length of pull change there. Whoever designed this stock uh, included some attention to detail here uh, you can see, I think, a little bit of change kind of in the coloration right here. And it's almost a change in texture more than color. And uh, that's because that's exactly what's happening here. This is, this is kind of a rubbery, overmolded portion of the stock, the Hoag overmolded stock. And um, it's very grippy, but then this transition here goes to hard plastic, okay, that's quite smooth. And I really like that they chose to do that. On this other Hoag stock that I have, on a 22 Magnum rifle here that you can see here, they did not do that. This whole stock is overmolded with the same kind of grippy rubber that Hoag is known for. And the 22 Magnum doesn't have a significant amount of recoil, but I find that I, I personally dislike the feeling of this, the Hoag overmolded kind of soft rubber feeling on my face. That's the whole stock here, and I'm really glad they didn't do that on the shotgun stock that I'm reviewing here. Uh, what I find is the increased recoil of a shotgun I think would be would make it rather uncomfortable and if you had facial hair it would probably potentially be painful uh, or at least abrade your face a little bit with this kind of rubber grippiness there. So I'm glad that they did that particularly on the shotgun stock because shotguns are ha gonna have more felt recoil than other firearms by and large. So there you go. I, I really like this stock. It comes highly recommended for me, the gear tester. I've been using this stock on this shotgun for over a year and a half and have been very pleased with the result. Um, and just, just for the point of clarification, I spent my own hard-earned money on this stock. Um, if I ever review products that are free or given to me, I will let you guys know. Um, YouTube is kind of, uh, in, in many ways, being corrupted at this point by companies that are sending out gear and equipment to influencers and uh, those influencers then come out and, and either they don't if the product's bad they don't do the review so you don't know the product's bad and they behave differently to a product that's free to them uh, you feel obliged to say it's a good product or, or you don't see the flaws of the product because you don't have any of your hard-earned money so I've spent my own money on this stock and I've been very pleased with it and I think you will be too currently I think it's running about 70 or 80 dollars if you have a different kind of shotgun, a different brand of shotgun, maybe a Mossberg or some other brand, it's very likely that Hogue makes one of these short length of pull stocks or one of their just standard regular length Hogue overmolded stocks for your model of shotgun. So take a look. Also, if you're planning on buying this particular shotgun uh, stock that I've been reviewing here in this video, you want to make sure that you get the specific one for your specific gun. 
So if you have a Remington 870 and 12 gauge, they make this shorter stock for a 12 gauge and they make it specifically for a 20 gauge. There's a different size in the receivers. Make sure that you buy the specific stock for your specific model and gauge of shotgun. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. If you like the way I covered the material and information on the Hogue overmolded stock in this video, but are looking for something a little bit different, I would encourage you to go and find my review of the Magpul SGA stock for the Remington 870. It has an uh, adjustable length of pull from 12 and a half inches to 14 and a half inches. So if you're a bigger, taller individual, that might be just what you're looking for. Having said that, the Hogue black overmolded shotgun stock with a 12 inch length of pull comes highly recommended from me, the gear tester. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the gear tester signing off.